Hi everyone, I'm Renzo from NUS HC Lab. Today, I'm very glad to present our work Paragraphs menu to you. This work is towards social-friendly subtle interactions in conversations. Have you ever met the scenario before that you're the only host of a party? In that party, you may need to jungle between the need of talking with your guest and prepare some food in the kitchen, but check the cooker's status. Or, you are asked to attend an ad hoc meeting after work, but your response don't know what happened. They may send you a message. At this moment, will you stop the conversation to reply the message, or you just ignore the message, which may upset your spouse? As you can see here, users always need to make a decision between the digital interaction needs and the social interaction needs. This work aims to help users to balance these two needs well by supporting human-computer interactions with minimal interferences to the ongoing primary social interactions. To achieve this goal, we proposed the four design guidelines for interfaces in conversations. First, they should leverage the concept of subtle interaction, like being non-intrusive to users' attention so users can better focus on the conversation. And the users can easily hide the manipulation so it can minimize distraction to others. In addition, the system should support scalable function numbers and enable various interaction types to satisfy the user's different needs in conversation. And this is how Paragraph's menu works. It first enables users to non-intrusively check the virtual content on an optical see-through head mounted display or smart glasses. As you can see here, the menu's item is circularly displayed around the conversation partner's face, so that enables users to maintain attention on the conversation while interacting with the devices. And it also adopts a hierarchy layout so it can support scalable function numbers. In addition, the system enables users to hide activities by using the tiny shape ring mouse, and it also supports various interaction types. To validate our concept, we enable users to control IoT devices in the social settings, and the four types of manipulation were supported. First, it's checking information. It enables users to check the device's status, like the cadence spawning time. Discrete manipulation enables users to switch between limited number of interactions, like turning on or turning off the devices. Continuous manipulation enables users to change the brightness or temperature in the room, and the selecting from a list enables users to make a decision from multiple choices, like selecting a favorite song to play. With this system, we further propose our two research questions. First, how does Paragraph's menu compare with other interfaces in terms of the quality of IoT manipulation and the conversation? And how does Paragraph's menu support IoT manipulation in real social settings? To answer the first question, we conducted a comparison study in lab-controlled simulated conversation setting with a virtual conversation partner. And we selected three alternative interfaces. They are the phone and the voice speaker because they are the most commonly used interface in our daily life to control the IoT devices. We also compare Paragraph's menu with OHMD linear menu to see what is the optimal menu layout in such application scenario. 20 participants were recruited in this study, and the result shows that Paragraph's menu enables the highest conversation quality because it can support the second highest eye contact, the highest politeness, naturalness, and the lowest cognitive node. Paragraph's menu can also enable the highest IoT manipulation quality because it can support the least manipulation duration, the highest accuracy, relaxation, and the usability scores. We further evaluate Paragraph's menu in a more realistic setting, involve 12 pairs of friends who are acting as a host and a guest in the conversation. Participants found that Paragraph's menu can enable high quality of IoT manipulation and conversation because it can help them to reduce the interaction efforts, facilitate a more natural and comfortable environment for the conversation. Now, I want to show you four usage cases from the participant. First, the host discreetly turned on the kettle in the kitchen to avoid disruption to the conversation. And he also adjusts the brightness while handing over documents to the guest to create a better reading environment. When the guests talk about a terrible issue, the host adjusts the temperature and the music to comfort the guest and match the conversation atmosphere. With these two studies, we found the Paragraph's menu outperform other interfaces because it can facilitate the highest quality of conversation and IoT manipulation. 
And the pyro gas menu has high usability in real social setting because it not only helps users balance various digital interaction needs with social interaction needs in a relaxed manner, but also help users to create a comfortable environment for the conversation. We also have other interesting insights that I want to discuss with you. First, it's about the multitaskability. Participants found Paragas menu can support high multitaskability because it can provide non-interest visual feedback and discrete manipulation. But they also report that some complex interaction, for example, selecting a song to play, may affect the multitaskability because it increases the cognitive demands of visual searching and decision making. But the participants are very smart. They adopt several strategies to mitigate such burden. First, they manipulate the devices during the post of the conversation or when others are speaking. They also delay the manipulation until a last important moment in the conversation. Participants also report that with the practice, their multitaskability can be improved. The next is about transparency of manipulation. Even though Paragas menu is designed to support discrete manipulation in social settings, over half of the manipulation in our study too were conducted in a transparent manner because they involved shared control. For example, users need to collectively select a song to play. For the remaining tasks that are conducted in a discrete manner, participants report two reasons. First, if the manipulation is irrelevant to the conversation topic, for example, turning on the cable in the kitchen, participants will do such manipulation in a discrete manner to avoid disruption. And the second reason is about the privacy. One guest in our study to report that the usage of Paragas menu reminded him a moment when he was talking with a guest while his baby was sleeping in another room. In the past, he needed to check the baby's status using a phone monitor app, but that was very distracting and it may reveal the private information to others. He suggests to use Paragas menu in this scenario instead because it can help users to assess the private information discreetly. Paragas menu can be also extended to other application scenarios, for example, helping users to reply a message or help students to record a very important moment in the lecture. Now, I want to talk about trade-off or subtle interaction in social settings. It first enables users to conduct essential digital interaction needs with minimal distraction to the social setting, and it helps users to manage multiple relationships in the social setting. For example, help them to manage both in-person conversation and remote social inquiries. But it can potentially bring some drawbacks, like if it's misused in the future, for example, helping users to check social media or playing games, it can increase the distraction in the social setting. And misperception was also observed in our study. One guest reported a higher estimated number of the manipulations than the host actually did. That is because the host shifted his eye gaze in the conversation. Actually, that is very normal behavior in their past conversation. But here, if the guest knows the host can do something secretly, even normal behavior will be perceived the host are trying to do something else. To mitigate these drawbacks, in the future work, focus mode can be developed and special visualization can be adapted. For example, low opacity for environment digital content in the conversation. And the users need to pay more attention to their behaviors and try to explain their motivation for potential discrete manipulation in advance to gain the understanding from conversation partners. We have three takeaway points for this research. First, Paragraph's menu can help users to balance the relationship between the digital interaction and the physical social interactions. Giving users need in social settings, supporting both discrete manipulation and transparent manipulation is necessary. And future work can try to improve users' multitask ability by leveraging context information, because that can reduce the search space and enable more efficient decision making. For example, if the system can get a user's permit, it can analyze the conversation content and provide some recommendation action to the users. For more details, please read our paper. Thank you.